What is up guys, Ben here from BTech HD. So recently Apple just released its beta version of iOS 9.3 to its developers. So we're gonna go take a look at some of the highlights that are around iOS 9.3 and what's all the hype about it. So the first major update is going to be with Night Shift. With Night Shift, you can shift the color of your display to the warmer end of the spectrum, which will make it easier on your eyes. It is pretty simple to change this. You just go into the settings application and head over to the display and you'll notice that a new section is there for night shift. In this menu you can change the spectrum from cooler to warmer. You can manually do it or you can set it automatically by scheduling it below. To set it automatically you can simply press the schedule tab and it will give you the option to either have it off, set it from sunrise to sunset or even a custom schedule. So it's very easy so you don't have to keep turning it on and off. The next application update has occurred with notes. With notes you can now have it password protected. So you can be jotting down notes and if you want to keep them safe and hidden you can simply enter a password or even use touch ID. So next time when you try to open that note again it will be safe and will require you to enter a password to enter the note. Now what is neat about this is that you can create a lock on individual notes, so you can still quickly get into the notes application and still jot down your notes if you're in a hurry. In notes you can also sort your notes, so now you can be sorting it by the date that was edited, the date that it was created, or even by the title, so there's an extra feature that they've added. The news application has also received small updates. Besides having a better recommended section, you can now play a video directly from the page, so you don't have to open up a new page to play the video. In the health application, you can now see all your data in one place as soon as you enter. The health app now displays your move, exercise, and stand data, as well as your goals from your Apple Watch are completely transferred into it as well. You can also now find third-party apps right in the application, so you can easily share your data with those apps as well. So it's a minor improvement, but definitely a good one. Now with iOS 9.3, you'll also get improvements with the watch. So now with auto switch, which is on watch OS 2.2, you can automatically switch Apple watches and swap them out with ease. So you can have more than one Apple watch paired to each device. Now, another thing iOS 9.3 has brought forward is updates into the Apple for education. Now users can share their devices within a classroom, create a teaching assistant that can guide the students in what to do next, and also many other new features that are catered specifically between the interaction between teachers and their students. There have also been some updates to Force Touch, so there are extra things that you can do with Force Touch, but besides that, iOS 9.3 so far is running great. I haven't noticed any battery problems, and everything is running smoothly also along with the Apple Watch, but that'll be it. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and click that like button below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this. This has been from BTech HD, and I'll see y'all guys next time. Thank you.